Andy, what has been different about Severino this season? Well, yeah, through coincidences of hiring and free agency, uh, Carlos Mendoza is in a great position to answer that question, which is why I asked him after the game yesterday, and he brought up two things. I think these are the two main points. He nailed them. One is confidence. This is a guy who literally said to the media last year at one point, I feel like the worst pitcher in baseball. <laughs> so he doesn't feel that way right now, and that helps. Now, how did he get there? The other thing that Mendoza mentioned was just a different and more varied pitch mix. He was a classic power pitcher early in his career where it was the high 90s fastball and the hard slider. He's replaced that hard slider uh, with a cutter and the sweeper. I hate saying sweeper, but I think it's time now, especially in this conversation, because it differentiates. He used to have that Garrett Cole yeah, thing, necessary. classic slider, yep. and now it's a different pitch. And what Mendoza said, and, and Severino agreed, was that that just gives him different speeds, different looks, different things that he can do. Uh, and he's got the change up in the two seam that work too, so he's not just a power guy, and that's why it might be sustainable. And finally, you talk to Yankees people, over the last couple years, he might have been the biggest tipper in baseball. He had like 10 different tells, the Yankees say. A big one was showing the ball to the base coach. And I asked Severino about this yesterday. He said, I'm asking my guy, our guys every game, you see anything? And right now they're saying no. So he appears to have cleaned up his tips, which is going to help your confidence and just your whole mental uh, state of mind on the mound as well. I think he knows also what's at stake, and I think that's big for somebody like Severino. He wants to prolong his career. Yes. This is somebody that has had a lot of success early on in his career, had the issues the last few most recent seasons. He wants things to keep going. And so I think to that point, like in the offseason, I know from talking with him that the recruiting process was a big deal to him. Mm -hmm. He wanted to get that done earlier. I think he probably left a couple million dollars on the table um, because of how early he got it done. And a big part of that was getting to know Jeremy Hefner and making sure that this was the place where he wanted wanted to be to be at his best and so uh, he even went as far as talking to Louis Rojas about Hefner and saying hey what do you got on this guy mm -hmm. I need to know about this I need to be sure about this and then from there he went and started his offseason conditioning got to the mounds earlier than ever and it's helped him obviously there's a lot to like about Louis Severino right now.